A current of 29 milliamps is maintained in a single circular loop with a circumference of 2.4 meters. A magnetic field of 0.45 Tesla is directed parallel to the plane of the loop. What is the magnitude of the torque exerted by the magnetic field on the loop? So your first inclination is going to be to say, well, this is, this is parallel, and so it must be zero. But let me explain why it's not really quick. So you have a, a, ma a, a loop of wire, and you have a magnetic field that's going straight in, in, in parallel with it. Well, right here, it's actually parallel, but if the current is moving around the loop, then once the magnetic field gets to this point, it's at a 90 degree angle with the current. And actually, if the magnetic field were going, uh, com let's say it was coming out of the screen right here, then there would be a net force of zero on the loop because if you if you use like the right hand rule, if the uh, the current going this way and the uh, magnetic field coming out, your force would be up. But then over here, the force would be down. And so all of the forces would cancel each other out. They would be completely equal and opposite if the magnetic field was perpendicular to the plane of the loop. And so the, the angle, the sign of the angle that you use in this torque equation, so the torque is equal to B I A or A N sine theta. So the angle theta in this case is the angle away from being perpendicular to the loop. So the angle away from being normal to the loop. And since our, our magnetic field is parallel with the loop, it's 90 degrees away from being normal to the loop. So the sine of theta ends up being the sine of 90, which cancels out and becomes 1. So we have everything we need to calculate the torque. Uh, the number of turns is 1, so that's actually going to cancel itself out. Uh, it says it's a single circular loop, so n is 1. And then the other thing we, know, uh, we need is the area. And so what we're given is the circumference, so the arc length. The arc length is equal to 2 pi times the radius. And so we can solve for the radius. The arc length over 2 pi is equal to the radius, and the area is equal to uh, is equal to pi times r squared. So we can substitute, we can say that the area is equal to pi times s squared over 4 pi squared. And then one of our pi's is going to cancel out. So we'll get that the area is equal to the arc length squared over 4 times pi. Now make sure that you uh, convert your current into amps rather than milliamps, so times it by 10 to the negative third. Your magnetic field's already in SI units, so you just plug it all in, and you should get uh, 0 0.005982 newtons times meters. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video, and on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.